Hello all. So, with the previous uh, lessons or previous videos, we have learned about the auxiliary inclined plane. Now we are moving to auxiliary vertical plane. So, what do you mean by the term auxiliary vertical plane? What is actually auxiliary inclined plane? Auxiliary inclined plane means a plane which is perpendicular to VP and inclined with HP, right? Similarly, we can take a plane which is a perpendicular to HP like this and inclined with VP. See, if this is a plane, this is a section plane, this is now perpendicular to HP and at the same time it is inclined with the VP. Such planes are known as auxiliary inclined plane. Sorry, auxiliary vertical plane. Auxiliary vertical plane. So, in this auxiliary vertical plane, in the front view, you can see the front view of the section and in the top view you can see the cutting edge which is the horizontal trace so in the top view you can see the cutting edge or horizontal trace in the front view you can see the front view of the section or cut section and you can obtain the true shape somewhere from there which is will be parallel to this plane okay right so we are moving to a problem after completing this problem Surely you will understood what I have told right now. A pentagonal pyramid, a pentagonal pyramid of base edge 25, 2.5 centimeter and height 6 centimeter stands vertically with a base on HP and a base edge perpendicular to VP. So a pentagonal prism, sorry, a pentagonal pyramid is placed on the ground with one of its base edges perpendicular to VP. Okay, so how can we place that or how we can obtain the simple position? See, this is a pentagonal pyramid which is placed on the ground with one of its base edges perpendicular to VP. So, the base edge should be on the right side. This is a free line. Pentagonal pyramid. A, B, C, D, E. On or to front view a dash a dash c dash a dash d dash on dash or to dash you all people are well aware of what I have done now it is given that it is cut by a section plane it is cut by a section plane or a cutting plane perpendicular to HP inclined 20 degree with VP cuts the pyramid at a distance of 7 mm from its axis you can see the question at a distance of 7 mm from its axis and in front of the section see at a distance of 7 mm from the axis and in front of section so first we have to obtain first we have to obtain the position of the cutting edge it is given that the cutting edge is passing or cutting uh, the pyramid at a distance of 7 mm in front of the axis and it is perpendicular to HP. It is perpendicular to HP inclined, inclined 20 degree with the VP. So, if this is the center or if this is the axis of the pyramid, see, if this is the axis of the pyramid, if I am the axis of the pyramid, Cutting edge should be in front of the uh, axis, right? So, it should be passing through like this, okay? So, that you can see this distance in the top view. So, in the top view means you can see the distance here. So, if this is the axis at a distance of 7 mm. So, this distance will be 7 mm. If we select a point and through that point, draw a line or draw the horizontal trace at an inclination of 20 degree so see this is the horizontal trace or this is the cutting edge so what is given it is cut by a section plane which is a perpendicular to hp inclined 20 degree to vp see this is inclined 20 degree to vp also it is inclined with HP. England with the, sorry, England with the VP, perpendicular with the HP. 
passing through a point 7 mm in front of the axis okay so it has intersected one point here so this is one one point in the lateral edge o to c so this is two this is another lateral edge three this is a base edge four so we have turned four different intersection point now what we have to do to answer this points in the front view so the point one is a point on the base edge cd so transfer here we will get the point one dash two is a point on the two is a point on the lateral edge o to c so transfer this point and it will be somewhere here so that is two dash now this is o to b transfer the point this will be three dash now what about four four is a point on the base edge ab but the base edge front view of the base edge a dash b dash is this point only so four will be four dash will be this point only. so on connecting this we will get a, the front view of the section see this is the front view of the section okay hope you have understood now how can we obtain the top view sorry true shape of the section similar to the previous one draw a line parallel to the horizontal trace that is the auxiliary trace draw normal through every points through one through two then through three through four now what about the distance in this case the distance should be taken from x y to 1 dash x y to 2 dash x y to 3 dash x y to 4 dash so at this point the distance between x y and 1 dash is zero only point is on the x y line so this should be 1 dash sorry this should be the true point 1 the distance of 2 from x y line this is the distance of 2 2 dash from x y line so take this distance and mark here so this will be 2 this will be 3 mark here this will be 4 so this will be the true shape of the section now complete the dimensions this is uh, 25 the height is uh, 60 or 70 this inclination is 20 and uh, this distance is 7 okay hope all of you have understood i will explain again uh, it is given that it is a pentagonal pyramid placed on the ground with one of its base edges perpendicular to vp so the base edge should be on the right side complete the pentagon complete the front view then it is cut by a section plane perpendicular to hp perpendicular to hp inclined 20 degree with vp and at a point 7 mm in front of the axis so how can you obtain the point from the axis draw a line draw a projector line like this on that projector line mark the distance is 7 mark as a point draw a horizontal line there from that measure 20 degree and draw the horizontal trace because since it is uh, inclined with the uh, vp in the top view only you can see the cutting edge so it should be horizontal trace that horizontal trace will be inclined at an angle 20 degree passing through a point 7 mm in front of the axis draw the horizontal trace it intersected four different points so mark it as 1 2 3 4 project in the front view you will get 1 dash 2 dash 3 dash 4 dash enclose the curve or enclose the shape the true shape can be obtained with the draw a horizontal line parallel to this horizon, uh, draw a line parallel to this horizontal tracer draw a normal select this distance and intersect here. okay i think all of you have understood what i have explained thank you